This is the Star News Brief. I'm Mark Gitao. Deputy President William Ruto has placed his boss, President Uhuru Kenyatta, at the center of 40 claims to be an elaborate plot to tamper with polls. But in an almost coordinated fashion, President Kenyatta and Azimio flag bearer Raila Odinga rubbished the claims, setting the stage for a major showdown for the do or die Tuesday's president contest. In a mid morning press conference on Thursday, Ruto said Uhuru chaired a meeting at Nakuru State Lodge two weeks ago where the rigging plot using the provincial administration was discussed. Get a copy of the Star News Brief by subscribing to our e-paper with only 40 shillings through www.mgazeti.com. IEBC has four days to print a manual voter register that will be used to identify voters on Tuesday. This is after the High Court on Thursday ordered the polls agency to use the printed manual voter register alongside the KM's kit as it is stipulated in the law. In June, IEBC chairman of Fulache Bukati wrote to Azimio La Umoja coalition party saying the agency will not use the printed register but instead use the KM's kit to identify voters. Azimio presidential candidate Raila Odinga on Thursday told off Deputy President William Ruto over claims to vote rigging and forcing chiefs to back him. Speaking in Kisumu during his rally in his Nyanza backyard, Raila said he doesn't need state backing and that of chiefs and their assistants to win next Tuesday. The DP, in a press conference in Nairobi, had alleged a plot by the state to use the provincial administrators to rig the polls. A former director of a children's home has been sentenced to 100 years behind bars for defiling four boys entrusted to his care. Senior Principal Magistrate Zainab Abdul said Stephen Zuki should have protected the minors, but instead he defiled them several times at the shelter in Nairobi. Nzuki has pleaded for leniency and a non-custodial sentence which the court declined. A non-custodial sentence in such a case will be a mockery of the justice system, Abdul said. For the first time in Kenya, health officials have demanded a near ban of an ingredient from the entire food supply. That enemy ingredient is trans fat, which is considered the worst type of fat to eat. It is found in all solid cooking fats, margarines and spreads sold in Kenyan shops and supermarkets. Mounting evidence indicates that the trans fats formed during the process of turning liquid vegetable oil solid raise bad cholesterol levels in the body. Get a copy of the Star News Brief by subscribing to our e-paper with only 40 shillings through www.mgazeti.com.